Le Carmen. We're so excited to show you where we live. often but sometimes someone's flattering enough to ask us how we stay in shape on Instagram and our response to that would be that we don't. <laughs> In our four years of travel, we've shared that life on the road isn't all staged photos and slow motion twirls. We're Tim and Finn, and whether we're stuck in the mud, stuck in the rain, or stuck at the border, we're sharing the unfiltered reality of it all. Subscribe to join the adventure on trip. It's really, really, really hard to stay in shape while traveling full time because it's really, really, really hard to maintain a routine of any type. But when we can, we try to find the opportunity to book an Airbnb that has a gym included because we just feel like if it's there, maybe we'll try to use it. Uh, this place here has the best facilities out of any place that we've visited anywhere. The hardest part about always... <laughs> well, the hardest... There you go. The hardest thing besides it's always noisy wherever we're recording. But like just with the fitness thing, you can get into a schedule at home and you can build and you can see results like week over week and that's encouraging. With traveling, I feel like one month we're like working, doing our computer thing and we can work out and feel good again. And then the whole next month we go to God knows where and you lose all your results and then you come back weak or you get really sick. and. <laughs> You never see things stack. It's always just fighting time wearing you down. Maybe we're feeling like that right now because today's our first day back. Oh God, here we go again. Part of living a life of full-time travel is that, uh, yeah, you get to do some pretty cool things, but you also have to do your mundane things abroad, which sometimes presents some challenges. We like to do our errands in either countries where we can speak the language or countries we have experience of doing that type of errand. And today, we're doing the mundane task of going to the dentist. Our Airbnb comes with a Jeep. I know, it was an ultimate find. And we're bringing our bathing suits and towels, you know, just in case. Just in case the dentist appointment turns into a beach run. Having a car with this Airbnb was such a big deal because rental cars in Mexico are almost cost prohibitive for long-term stays. When checking out pricing online, you might see cars for as little as four or five US dollars a day. But due to multiple required insurance policies, your car can be upwards of 50 US dollars per day. And we were here for six weeks. There is a way around this using your US credit card covered policy, but it's, it's not like the States where you just waive insurance at pickup. You'll need a written letter from your credit card company to present to the front desk at rental, and you still might even have to negotiate with them. We found the dentist really in like any normal way, just looking at Google Maps to see what was close and then looking at reviews and then there was this. Right, right, right. It's called medical tourism. So in very touristy places like here in Playa del Carmen, um, this was basically like marketed for anyone who speaks English to come in and have an appointment. Oh. We are employed by our own company, Trip Travel Gear, and do not have typical US health insurance. This is common for many US entrepreneurs. We're part of a health share. It's called Liberty Health if you're interested, and there's many others like it. We end up saving around 600 US dollars a month being part of a health share over health insurance. So then we obviously don't have dental insurance, so we just pay for cleanings when we need them because it's cheaper than insurance. 
I mean, it was a dentist appointment. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had in my whole life, but the guy was super nice. He spoke the best English of anyone I've heard here in Mexico all year. And we were just talking about all the hot scuba diving locations that we're gonna hit up later this trip. So the fact that we could just walk down to the beach after the appointment makes it a pretty awesome uh, experience. It was 80 US dollars. We have been in Playa del Carmen for six weeks now, which is confusing because you guys were just with us in Mexico City with Ali at the ruins, and we're coming to you from the future. That's the magic of video editing. So we've been here for six weeks. We wanted to start this series in episode two here with a house tour to show you around this space. And now that we've lived here for so long, we know that we love it. And why this place is so awesome is because it also comes with a car and what we're doing in this area is more so using it like a home base to explore all of the Yucatan Peninsula, which is, just, there's just so much to do here. So this whole series will take you around, but using the car that we have from this awesome Airbnb and from this specific location, which is just great and central to see so many things. One of the first awesome things about this apartment is that it has great Wi-Fi and you know that we uh, own and operate our Trip Travel Gear Amazon business from the road, so that's always the most important thing. If you're looking to come to this area as a digital nomad, our AT&T phone plan has kind of like terrible service. We have like low 3G, hardly works. So that's a problem when we're not connected to Wi-Fi, but when we are here at the apartment, it's fantastico. Air conditioning, everyone loves that, especially out in the living space. Sometimes it's only in the bedroom. So plus a ginormous L sofa. We never get a sofa. You guys have heard us talk about that when we're like sitting on a hammock or something and just wanting a sofa. So like a sofa, TV, and there's a huge, really fancy sound bar and stuff. So we've been like jamming out and it's just, maybe I think like the sofa is where I feel like home is just, This is Turtle. We got Turtle when our flight was delayed and we had to spend the night in Dallas at the Hyatt and it came with a, a dog package. And then this is Paw Patrol and Paw Patrol was a gift from Hudson and Emily when we had our birthday in Cozumel. <gasps> but you're going to see Pepper's birthday coming soon in the Cozumel episode. And this is Paw Patrol. This is the airplane kennel that we have. I'll link this in the description below because a lot of people have questions on how to travel with her. But she doesn't sleep in here. Sometimes she sleeps with dad in her bed. So, we'll go upstairs and show you where mom and dad sleep. Stupid. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting for you to pan up to my face. <laughs> We've arrived. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, Tim and I don't like sleeping in the same bedroom <laughs> when we don't have to. Because, like, it's hot and, um, I just, I love sleeping and I don't want anybody to infringe on that. So this has been my bedroom. <laughs> Great, the comments are gonna just be... <laughs> Go there for the light. <laughs> Save me from this loveless marriage. <laughs> but no, seriously, this is the, the new best idea ever. Boom, oh, that's and a me. closet and a bathroom. The biggest closet. Yeah, that's messy. Let's see how messy she is. Let's see. Well, we're I'm packing because we're leaving tomorrow. Here's the bathroom. Oh, and it's the bathroom. There's a shower and a toilet and a towel. Yeah, it's okay. like, you know, bathroom. Nice bathroom. Yeah. And then, um, why don't you just show us where you live? Look, I'm on screen. I didn't prep today. My hair's not curled yet. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing. This is my room. Yes, I have a room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, air conditioning. Yeah. Look how clean it is in here. Look at that closet. Yeah, and sometimes Pepper sleeps down there. And sometimes at 6 in the morning, Pepper decides it's time to come up here because of morning cuddles. So long story short, I'm glad that we waited until the end of being here to really kind of analyze and know what it was like here because this 
was our favorite place in Mexico for several reasons. It was just very homey. I mean, the specific Airbnb, yes. Also, the amenities here and just all of the activities that you can do in such a short drive. So that made all the difference in, in this area versus over where we had home base in Sayulita, we did home base in Guadalajara and in Mexico City, all for at least a month, if not three months in all of those places. And then yeah, this was just the best place in Mexico if you are shopping around for kind of a international place to set up shop and spend your time. U.S. citizens can come to Mexico on a six month tourist visa. And you don't need to apply for anything, you just like show up in Mexico and you get six months. So that's also been super great and easy because when you only get 30 days or something in a place and you have to leave, that's just a nuisance. So six months, epically awesome. We are so excited to share the Yucatan Peninsula with Wait, you. Wait, you can film this, yourself. I don't even have to be behind but you there could, anymore. You could be, you could be here what? just for it's, sharing. I am. I'm here this for is sure. my, this is my favorite series so far. I'm biased, like speaking Spanish, and this area is just one of my favorites in the world. But I'm so excited to share on this channel all of these fun things coming up. Yeah, we've had a blast the past six weeks. It's been exhausting. So coming up in this series, you will see us learn to scuba dive in Cozumel, where we go through the open water certification course, hanging out with Hudson and Emily. It's true. We do tulum, tulum, tulum. Well, then we so go no down to Bacalar, which is this beautiful freshwater lake on the Belizean border. We head up to Almujeres where we scuba dive again in an underwater museum, which is sweet. And then we did another whale shark experience, which was the best. Our spirits melded. It's not a big deal. Our what? Our spirits melded with the whale sharks. Yeah. I was one with, with the whale shark. shark. Yeah. After that, we head up to Al Hobosh. Holbosch, which you've probably seen on Where Instagram. Where we found the best beaches ever. Yeah. It was, it's not overhyped. We'll tell you all about that. Uh -huh. And then we go over to Rio Lagartos to visit Las Coloradas, which is a pink lake, which you will never believe what you see. Buenísimo. Mexico. <laughs> Sounds just